America, fuck yeah. Come and say the motherfucking day now. <laughs> anyway, people, your boy Country Boy, back again. Now, we have an officer coming out of Seattle, Washington. He made a video about this coronavirus, people tramping on the American people, freedoms and liberties. How they're trying to take our freedoms and liberties away with this coronavirus. Well, I think he got fired for telling the truth. That's right, people. He got fired for telling the truth because most jobs got a policy jumping off that you can't pick videos up, you can't talk about anything political. People, we need to stand behind Officer Greg. I think this name, Officer Greg. Uh, we need to stand behind this guy because if like he said, if you truly believe something, believe in something, you're going to stand by that no matter what sort of, of hate come your way. And so he believed in that and he got fired. We really need to help this man out because he, um, he got fired and he got three kids and two houses, I think he say. And, um, he's a normal average working American like all of us who's just trying to get by and you know I feel like his commander in chief is wrong and needs to hire him back because you know it's not right it's not right who are they to say you can't make this video but you know then again um, then again, that's why most police officers do not speak up because they want to keep their job, you know. They don't want to get fired because they feel like they got a family too. So if they speak up, they don't get fired. And, you know, you know, life goes on even if they don't hire Officer Greg back. You know, so... I'm pretty sure he can probably try to find a, find a job as a firefighter or something like that or something else. Um, you know, but you can't, how these, how, how his superiors and his chief command, you know, did him, got him, well, he, he got um, fired because of this. Well, you have some people that agree with him. Even though some people agreed with him and his superiors agreed with him and whatnot and and, and whatnot and and his chief of command probably agreed with him as well, but you know, you know how the people do. They agree with him, but then you got some that disagreed and whatnot and you know. So how I look at these people I stand by um, Officer um, Greg. I stand by Officer Greg, 100%, because we don't have that many police officers nowadays that are actually stand up what they believe in. They care most of about their job than they police, you know? So, but hey, what you guys think, people? I feel like Officer uh, Greg should be back on the force protecting and serving the people because I looked at this guy he seemed like a good officer you know he seemed like a good officer and whatnot. so apparently it must be good officers still out there you know so you know you, you look at the police officers they just follow commands they just follow commands of what they gotta do so somebody higher up tell them what to do so you know there's just the way the cookie crumbles and whatnot. And I feel like we need to rally in um, Seattle, Washington at this man police department and try to get his job back. This is how I look at it. We all need to rally up at this man police department, wherever he worked at, down there, and get his job back. We need to protest. 
a lot of people need to show up. At least about a hundred thousand or uh, two hundred million need to show up to get this man job back because it is uncalled for. You know, you can't tell the truth no more, and then you get fired. Well, I stand one hundred and twenty percent behind Officer Greg. So, hey, what you guys think? I'm signing out.